UK to send Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier to S. Korea. The United Kingdom's HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier will lead a flotilla of Royal Navy ships through Asian waters on port visits to Japan and South Korea on its maiden deployment, the British Embassy in Tokyo has announced, as Australia warned of threats of conflict in the region. The high-profile voyage, announced by the British Embassy on Monday, is aimed at bolstering security ties in East Asia and comes amid tensions in the region as concern grows in Japan over any threat posed to neighboring Taiwan by China, as well as increased tensions in the disputed South China Sea. <music> Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga and U.S. President Joe Biden issued a joint statement this month addressing China's growing assertiveness and the importance of peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait following their first face to face meeting in Washington since both became leaders of their countries. The British Carrier Strike Group which includes the Queen Elizabeth and 18 F-35B stealth fighters, two destroyers, two frigates and two support ships will have to sail through the South China Sea on its way to East Asia. China claims almost the entire sea, while Southeast Asian nations including the Philippines, Malaysia and Vietnam also claim parts of it. It will be joined by vessels from the United States and a frigate from the Netherlands and will carry out exercises with forces from Japan, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, France, the UAE, Denmark, Greece, Italy, Turkey, Israel, India, Oman and South Korea, the British government said in a statement. Other foreign ships currently in Asian waters include the French amphibious carrier and two U.S. Navy aircraft carriers one of which, the USS Ronald Reagan, is based in Japan. A close Washington ally, Japan hosts the biggest concentration of U.S. military forces outside the United States, including warships, planes and thousands of Marines. The latest, and so far most conspicuous, visit to Japan by British forces follows an earlier deployment of warships jet fighters and troops for joint training exercises. Royal Marines from 42 Commando will also deploy with the carrier, as well as the Dutch frigate HNLMS Evertsen and the American Arleigh Burke destroyer USS The Sullivans. The deployment comes as Australia's Home Affairs Department Secretary Mike Petsulo, a top security official, said the possibility of war was increasing. A fleet of British warships and military aircraft built as the largest concentration of maritime and air power to leave the UK in a generation will depart next month for visits to India, Japan, South Korea and Singapore, in a display of Britain's ambition to exert a much stronger presence in Asia. New aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth, the most powerful surface vessel in the Royal Navy's history, will set sail next month for Asia with eight fast jets on board. It will be accompanied by six Royal Navy ships, a submarine armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles, 14 naval helicopters and a company of Royal Marines. <laughs>